Okay, gang, we need to take a quick hydration break. So grab your drink of choice. And as you rehydrate, I'll give you the lowdown on my free LinkedIn lead gen masterclass. If you feel like you're screaming into the void when you post content on Facebook or Instagram, struggling to find a sustainable and scalable lead generation process that sticks, and you just want someone who's been there and done that to reveal their secrets then it's critical that you register to save your spot ASAP. During this live masterclass, you'll get to steal the exact strategy I used to scale my income from $0 to 1 million in just 19 months without spending a fortune on ads or suffering from burnout. Simply check out the show notes of the podcast episode for the link to register for your free spot in the LinkedIn Lead Gen Masterclass. And don't worry, Even if you miss a couple of days or you can't make it to all the training sessions, we'll deliver the replays directly into your inbox daily so you can watch them on your own time. All you have to do is make sure you sign up for the masterclass before registration ends. Hey, 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 I hope you guys enjoy these, what I'm calling podcast shorts for my burnout to all out community. This is just a little peek behind the curtain of the coaching that goes on inside of my programs. We're bringing to you some of the best nuggets and coaching I'm giving within hot seats of all of our different programs, whether it's our LinkedIn Method Academy, our mini mastermind business basics, all the way up to our higher level mastermind. If you're hearing some of these questions and you're like, man, I wish I could get my burning question answered by Melissa. Hey, guess what? You could be featured on my podcast. If you've got a question that you want answered and you submit it to my team and we pick it, we will bring you here to the podcast for our podcast shorts and uh, do a hot seat with you. Where can you submit your questions? Send them to teamburnouttoallout.co. We'll make sure we drop that in the show notes for our podcast shorts. And I hope that you guys find as much value in these shorts as our clients do inside the program. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Henault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business, and you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. Hey, so I know that these are really kind of basic. There's nothing basic. All (laughs) questions are good questions. All right. So, you know, I kind of fell off the wagon there. I had some stuff going on and now I'm trying to get back on the LinkedIn. And my guess is that I'm posting not at a good time because it's like at the end of the day, I'm like, oh shit, I need to like do this. And so the few posts that I have done have just like fallen flat. And I am thinking, I don't necessarily know that it's what I'm putting out there versus maybe the time of day that I'm putting it out there. So I guess I just need some quick coaching about like how to get back on the wagon and start getting back success. Cause now I'm like, well, shoot, nobody is responding at all. And then the imposter syndrome comes out, Mm -hmm. right? Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. So this is good. And welcome back, by the way, we're glad you're back on the wagon. I know (laughs) life throws curveballs to us and I'm glad that you're holding yourself accountable and here you are. Did you get the breath work session? I did. Okay, perfect. So posting, engagement. So this is a really good lesson for all of us that consistency wins, right? When we fall off, when we have this momentum with the algorithms and engagement, and then we fall off, we have to warm them back up. So one of the best things you can do, Stacia, is are you priming 
the algorithms by engaging in other people's posts before you post your own content? Probably not, to be honest. It's one of those rush kind of things. And I did, I tried a couple at some of the the hashtags or the groups that I'm following, but it's not flat. Yeah. And so again, then kind of brings me to, well, maybe it's the timing. So first and foremost, for all of you, LinkedIn rewards people who give. And giving is not posting your own content. Giving is contributing in the comment section and engaging on the platform. And so the algorithms, the AI and LinkedIn pick up when all you're doing is dumping posts in there and you're coming in, putting your post in, and then you're out. And so if you guys all should have downloaded your LinkedIn checklist, you'll notice one of the first things in the checklist is to engage. And so all of you, part of your homework assignment is, if you're not doing it already, is to come up with a couple of groups and people that you're going to commit to engaging with before you post. This actually also conditions and trains LinkedIn on your ideal client, your ideal avatar, the influencers. When it sees how you behave, it's going to then try to feed those types of themes and people into your feed. But if you're not engaging on the platform, it doesn't know what to feed you. And it doesn't know what to get in front of other people that are of like behavior because you're not behaving at all, except for posting your own content, right? So what does that look like? All of you can, first, you can just start with some ideal hot prospects. Who are some ideal people you'd love to manifest into your business? There is nothing more flattering to the hot lead than to actually acknowledge their content, right? So maybe you've got two or three people who are like dream bucket clients, go engage with their content on a daily basis. If anything, the algorithms are going to pick up that you really prefer this demographic, right? And then the other thing you can do is what are some groups, some influencers in your space? Go engage and comment on their posts. So all of you should commit to five engaging activities. And this should take you less than five minutes. If you've gotten organized with who you want to engage with, the first day it may take you a couple minutes because you need to get clear on who you want to engage with. But then moving forward, you should be able to just go in there, find them, engage, and then pop out. If you go look at my activity, I am practicing what I preach. If you click on my LinkedIn profile, clicked on my activity, you will see I'm engaging with thought leaders, engaging with potential clients every single day. If you look at my activity every single day, and then we post the content. Okay. So that would be step one. So activity on LinkedIn, the best way, because it's such a moving target, like I could give you data on it and it changes every like three to six months. You may just want to go to good old Google and just ask like, what are the top current trending times to post on LinkedIn? Historically, it's been earlier in the week and earlier in the day. People tend to come in on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, kind of fresh, especially Mondays and Tuesdays from the weekend. This is a a work kind of platform. People come in from fresh on Mondays and Tuesdays and they're networking on the platform. They kind of teeter off towards the end of the week, Thursdays, Fridays. Weekends are the least popular. But the activity on LinkedIn post, especially when COVID hit and people were in lockdown, it was surprisingly active over the weekends. And ever since, the activity on LinkedIn has kind of bumped on the weekends to higher than it was pre-COVID, but it's still a lower activity space. Because remember, number one device, desktop. People aren't typically on their desktops on Saturdays and Sundays. And that's also becoming recommitted to your marketing campaign. And instead of it being an afterthought at the end of the day, like Deirdre always says, one of our coaches, she has a date with LinkedIn for 30 minutes of her coffee every morning before she goes to work. She's a busy executive in a retail brand and has to get her work done before she hops to train in New York City every single day. So maybe instead of it being an afterthought, is it the forethought? It's the first thing you do in the morning. And then you've got the day for people to see your content. I know for me personally, even on the other platforms, if you get too late in the day, especially if you're East Coast, you don't get as much engagement on the content. It doesn't have as much time to kind of live in the feed and be engaged with. Okay. All right. And then I have one more mindset kind of question. So my book is done. And yay. And Jake has the whole thing about 100 posts from your book. And so again, I'm like doing it like the imposter syndrome a bit in that how many people out there are really wanting to move their company? 
when, yes, right, you're a husband, which I haven't had any kind of conversation with him about this. It's not as scary for him as he thinks. Yeah. So I'm like trying to find ways and I'm looking at it the wrong way. I know that, but I just don't know the perspective to look at it. Like, how do I peel it out? And I don't want it to make it, Jake is like, your book is about assessing, mitigating risk in order to grow and become more profitable. So I think maybe I need to look at it that way, but I'm still struggling with what pieces to pull out and how to kind of organize it and put it out there to the ethers. Okay. Well, first of all, congratulations on completing your book. Everybody else here is envious that you have an entire book worth of content to unpack for the rest of the year. That is awesome. And so there's a couple of different directions you could go with this. Okay. Right? First of all, you could unpack it in newsletter form because then you have less limitations on characters, right? So if you really wanted to be seen as a thought leader and you wanted some space to get more meat in your content, what if you committed to a newsletter each week, which was a recap of how many chapters are there? There are 12 chapters. Each chapter is, is about 2,000. They should So you could do a newsletter each month and the newsletter could be a highlight from each chapter. So you could go that route. And then within each chapter, I mean, maybe it's going to sound a little bit elementary to you, but for me, where I've gathered a ton of my content is see all these books, like I just have a highlighter. So you would just be going to your own book with your own highlighter, but I highlight the stuff that I find really impactful. I highlight the powerful statements the powerful paragraph that's really a take-home message. Maybe approach your book with a fresh lens as a business owner who didn't write the book and highlight what really resonates. And what I do when I'm at a loss for content, guess what I do? I go pick up one of those books and I flip through it and I'm like sharing content from it. As you're getting started, it doesn't even have to be this perfectly orchestrated, mapped out, Because I can see where it could be overwhelming of like, okay, I have this whole book. How do I map out the whole book for a 100 days of content and get really organized about it? And that's cool. But I also feel like that could be a rate limiting factor to just getting started versus just like opening up the first chapter and being like, where are some knowledge bombs in this first chapter that I can just drop? It doesn't mean in a couple of months couple of weeks, you can't go back and have this like perfectly orchestrated, organized, like breakdown of every chapter and have the perfect amount of social media pieces that you want. You can. And by the way, if you're growing your network, then the new people you put in your network aren't even going to know that you're recycling some stuff anyway, right? If you go back and do it in a more organized fashion. But I am a huge fan of imperfect action over paralysis. And I don't mean to step over whatever Jake's coaching you on, but instead of trying to make it this perfectly curated 100 days of content, I would say just pick up your highlighter, read the first chapter and be like, where are some little knowledge bombs that I can just drop here on LinkedIn? And if you want to go bigger, how can I take this chapter and make it a succinct newsletter or break it up each chapter into four newsletters? If there's 2000 words, can you do four newsletters that break down a core concept in each chapter? or make it an article, right? So you have that route too. And then another spin on it is taking a chapter and talking about it. At this point, having published the book, you could probably talk about the chapters with your eyes closed. So you could even do lives where you talk through the core concept of the chapter. You do a scheduled LinkedIn live event where you're talking about it. Now you have 12 LinkedIn live events that you can talk about. You can do those, take that same content, turn them into newsletters, articles, and then bite-sized nibbles of individual knowledge bomb, just quotes that you put in there or pieces of content that you can put into a LinkedIn post. Does that help? Oh, yeah. Tremendously. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I was like really overwhelmed, just like you said. I'm like, okay, I don't even know where to start with this. Yeah, just start small and not to overwhelm. But again, another dimension to it could be creating little carousels. So that chapter, like there's a chapter you read, there's some core concepts. 
you could break them down into little carousels that you swipe, swipe, swipe. And you could use that over on Instagram too, if you're using Instagram, right? right? And that's something you can outsource too, right? Like depending on your budget, like you could outsource someone to break all that up for you as well. And then you just review it before it goes out. Cool. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. And what is it called? Chat? GPT? Okay. I mean, I bet you could run one of those chatters through chat GPT and say something like, give me some social media posts off this content and give it, you know, a vibe that you want. And it could probably spit out all kinds of stuff for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Now I gave you too many ideas. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. (laughs) Thanks, guys, so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. That is, text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.